Well, there you go. We just laid out our container garden for our new homestead in Florida. Stick with me, I got a lot to talk about today. We'll be right back. <music> This video shows a garden layout and building a 40 inch tray table. How to start a container garden part one. Well, welcome back friends. I tell you what, we've been waiting on setting this container garden up for a long time and I know you have too. I thank you for your patience and we're getting there. We're really getting there. So um, today we laid out the container garden. We strung it up and got the ribbons on here so we can get a good idea of how to do the layout. and. Um, what this garden is, is it's 18 feet wide and 100 feet long. This will contain our um, uh, container garden grow tables, our hardening tables, and our uh, potato tables. So we can uh, string out those tables down both sides and have a lane to work down in between them. So it's, it's two rows here. So we're really excited about that. This uh, having the string lines out gives me an idea of where I need to put the tables. I can line them up correctly. And I can also eventually run my um, main lines from my irrigation out here so I can put in my, um, my water lines. Because remember, I always hand water my container gardens uh, in most cases. Some cases I'm going to have some manual valves to, to water some things, but in most cases I just hand water them. So take a look at this and then the days ahead, uh, keep up with me on this video. We're going to progress out putting in the tables and all the good stuff that goes along with it. So we'll be back very shortly. See you. Okay, we're back in the shop. And today we're going to actually start working on some of the container garden grow tables, which is a kind of a big milestone for us. So we're pretty excited. We're going to start with these three 40 inch tray tables. Um, these are the big grow tables that remember we plant our radishes and our extra dwarf pot choy, that kind of stuff. And those little shallow trays are long and shallow. So that's what these 40 inch tables will do. They're at a comfortable position where you can water them and um, without having to bend over and harvest them and maintain them. So it's a comfortable position. That's why it's at the 40 inch, which is kind of high. So let's get these three here started, get them fabricated and put together. Then we'll transport them out to the uh, container garden area and actually get them set in place and we'll be ready to go. So let's take a look at the um, little sketch I've got. And this is what we're going to be building today together. And you come on up kind of close and take a look at it. Okay, let's take a look at the um, at the sketches that we've got to work from today. This is a pretty simple table, so this shouldn't take us that long to build it, and it's pretty easy. This is a top view of the table, and this is a front view of the table looking at it this direction. Um, what I'm going to have is four by four legs, which will give it good weight and stability because it's going to be outside in the dirt out there so I want it to be good and strong and heavy so it doesn't shift around on me when I'm working on it and putting heavy loads on it so it's got four by four con leg construction and two by four frame construction and it's all pressure treated lumber because we're going to be outside in the weather permanently with these so I want it to last a good long time so we'll build the frame and put the legs on and on the top it's going to have two by two um, uh, boards on the top spaced out evenly you know with a one and a half inch gap in between each slat that way we have plenty of um, uh, drainage and I don't have to spend you know I don't have to make it solid surface I can have just spaced out and set the containers on there and when I water it water falls straight through and it saves me some money on construction costs so space out my um, I'm going to space out my um, two by twos on the top to stretch that lumber a little further so let's go out here and get started we're going to build three of these and then um, we'll get them out in the garden let's go get started <laughs>
Well, we sure had fun building these uh, grow tables for our trays. And uh, if y'all remember, um, up in Virginia, our videos in Virginia, we always use these trays. Y'all remember these trays? Yep, yes you do, you remember them. <laughs> We use these for our extra dwarf bok choy. We use it for radishes. You can use it for greens. Anything that's small and, and it's shallow, it doesn't need to be real deep rooted. Um, this is what we use. And this tray table, see how it fits it just right? And you can get one, two, three, at least four on each table. So that gives us, that gives us 12, um, Tray ta uh, trays on the on the tables to grow at one time, so that's a lot of pak choy, ain't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that means pak choy soup, right? Mm -hmm. Oh good. That's still on my diet, right? Right. Okay. So anyway, we had fun building it, and I hope uh, you had fun traveling along on this little project with us. And we're going to continue to work on our container garden here in the days ahead. Part two will be coming out shortly, and we'll continue this until we get this whole container garden all set up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. So until me and her, well, he's back there pouting because he's <laughs> on the leash. <laughs> he chased a deer earlier, took us forever to catch him. Yeah. It's okay. Uh -huh. But anyway, till we three see you next time, we always want to tell the Lord thank you for everything he gives us, mm -hmm. even these tray tables. So until we see you next time, always remember, by his hands, hands. We are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, Lord our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Take care. <laughs>